Yo, welcome back to another video. My name is Jai. So I want to do a little test today. So I have pretty good aim. You know what I mean? Like it's not that bad, right? See, see, y'all get it. That's why I fuck with y'all. Anyways, I just wanted to see if somebody with not that bad of aim could honestly turn themselves into a pretty good aimer or an above average person with aim. <laughs> this thing is. Yes. And I feel like Valorant is possibly the perfect game to do that because of the annoying ass recoil and moving while shooting. Um, it's literally like you have to get the movement down to really possibly be like a really good game. But you know what I mean? We're gonna try it anyway because <laughs> what's the fun in that? I'm going to fucking torture myself. But I just wanted to see how good I could really turn myself into 24 hours. I would 100% suggest y'all try this. I literally just woke up one day and was like, fuck it, let's do it. And I wanted to bring y'all with me. So that's the plan for today. And if you do want to contact me anyway, if you need some help, if you want to just talk, I'm always in my Discord server, hit me up. And I will love to talk to you down below. And hopefully you enjoy the video. Let's get to it. Wow, man. Uh, damn. So I did what the most reasonable person would do and hop onto YouTube. So I was searching for how to get better aim on Valorant and I was looking through these videos and I didn't really fuck with them. So, you know what I mean? I remembered that I found a video. This is the real re reason why your aim is bad on Valorant. And I was like, hold on, let me go back to this real quick. So people have bad habits from just flicking 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 like thames like where they just try and just automatically go into aim labs and just try and flick and do anything with having horrible accuracy like me that's how i started and i feel like everybody it really is like that when i first started aim labs i was watching shroud and i did it for call of duty and all these games because i was like i want to be like him so what do you really gain out of this i feel like it's nothing i feel like you should work on accuracy more over score it's actually this focus on speed and the score that is holding us back from achieving them and just flicking and that's the main reason why i feel like i was wrong and when you really want to get better at aiming i feel like it's a very self-conscious thing where you got to be able to pinpoint the things you do wrong and i feel like this genuinely helped me so another thing i did to even up this up a little bit i reached out to a couple of you know what i mean streamers and youtubers that i found on youtube and this one youtuber i think his name is bo it's bo i know it starts with a b i'm sorry but he was just amazing so i reached out to these youtubers and i said yo my name is jai and i'm a youtuber doing a 24 hour challenge to see how good i can get my aim on valorant and how good so i was like if they had any recommendations on movement aiming any warm-up routines they did and actually one of the youtubers i uh, reached out to variant um in his server he has a little section of his warm-up routine and he shares it and it's actually really really interesting and i'm glad that he really took his time out to make this because it helped me a little bit too on what i should do and he stated you should do i think eight to ten warm-ups on deathmatch and then i think a little bit out of it um some other programs like aim labs and all that but it was pretty cool to have so thank you variant for taking the time out to so hours later none of these youtubers have hit me back yet and i was just like let me do what i think is good and i hopped onto valorant and i went straight into the training area and i just spent uh, probably like an hour or hour and a half in there just practicing my aim and then i hopped straight into deathmatch so i'm going to be showing you a little bit of deathmatch clips that i got and then that's really <laughs> gonna be it for most of the day. I'll probably hop into a normal match and see how we do. But thank you so much for watching until we are now. And hopefully you enjoy these little warm up clips and appreciate you.